hymn this morning is number 716, 716. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Almighty God is the Lord. Come, let us adore him. Come bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Almighty God is the Lord. Come, let us adore him. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. For forty years I was worried of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. And I took a note in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Almighty God is the Lord, come let us adore him. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mighty God is the Lord. Come, let us adore him. In 716, let all the world in every corner sing, My God and King, the heavens are not too high. God's praise may be there. The earth is not too low. Our praises there may grow. Let all the world in every corner sing, My God and King. Let all the world in every corner sing, My God and King. The church with psalms must shout, No doors can keep them out. But above all the heart, spare the longest part. Let all the world in every corner sing, my God and King. I will sing to you, O Lord, and I will walk in the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord, I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who is in the I look to the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection I'll be my friend. Morning by morning I will <coughs> silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will sing to you, O Lord, that I will walk in the way of perfection. O Lord, do not withdraw your favour from us. 
Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and worthy of praise, and your name is glorified forever. For your name's sake, do not give us up utterly, and do not break your covenant. have become fewer than any nation and are brought low this day in all the world because of our sins. And at this time there is no prince or prophet or leader, no burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense, no place to make an offering before you or to find mercy. Yes. Such may our sacrifice be to you, your sight this day, and may we wholly follow you, for there will be no shame for those who trust in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, do not withdraw your favor from us. I will sing a new song to you, O oh God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Reach down from heaven and save me, draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will sing a new song to you, O God. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. O come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. I rise before dawn and call for help. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. A Saviour who free us from our foes, from the hands of all who are haters, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered.
As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Awful, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Increase in us, Lord, your gift of faith, so that the praise we offer you may ever yield its fruit from heaven. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests, eternal Father. We thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those priests who have brought your, your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and of all the same gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, call the apostles to follow him. We ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and to enable them not to be afraid but to recognize the joy given their whole lives and love. O Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When Christ freed us, he meant us to remain free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who tell you this. If you will allow yourselves to be circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you at all. With all solemnity, I repeat my warning. Anyone who accepts circumcision is obliged to keep the whole law. But if you do look to the law to make you justified, then you have separated yourselves from Christ and have fallen from grace. Christians are told by the Spirit to look for faith for those rewards that righteousness hopes for. This it is it, Christ Jesus, whether you are circumcised or not, makes no difference. What matters is faith that makes its power felt through love. The word of the Lord. Lord, let your love come upon me. Lord, let my love come upon you. Lord, let your love come upon me, the serving the saving help of your promise. Do not take the word of truth from my mouth, for I trust in your decrees. Lord, let your love come upon me. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. I shall walk in the path of freedom, for I see your precepts. Lord, let your love come upon me. Your commands have been my delight. These I have loved. I will worship your commands and love them and ponder your statutes. Lord, let your love come upon me. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your face shine on your servant 
and teach me your decrees. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus had just finished speaking when a Pharisee invited him to divine, dine at his house. We went in and sat down at the table. The Pharisee saw this and was surprised that he had not first washed before the meal. But the Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, you clean the outside of the cup and plate, while inside yourselves you are filled with extortion and wickedness. Fools, did not he who made the outside make the inside too? Instead, give alms from what you have, and then indeed everything will be clean for you. Gospel of the Lord. The Pharisees were set apart from the people. They were a religious elite. St. Paul I was one, so too were Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea. In Jesus' day, the Pharisees were all men. Today, professional religious are priests, deacons and religious men or women. The Pharisees resisted, the, resisted and opposed Jesus. They pride themselves on their external devotions to religious practices, especially ablutions. They had devised, and in addition to the Torah, the Jewish law, all manner of rules and regulations which they fastidiously adhered to, insisting that others who aspired to grow closer to God did the same. Hence their surprise when Jesus did not partake in the ritual cleansing prior to dining with the Pharisees. We don't know what the tone of Jesus' voice or manner in which he chided the Pharisees, reclining with him at the table. What we do know is that he was quick to draw attention to the fundamental dangers of living a spiritual life. The trap and the deception of appearing righteous and holy without actually being righteous and holy. The Pharisees, it appears, put great stock in the externals of their faith, but failed in areas such as showing mercy and being compassionate to the poor. The religious, religiosity of the Pharisees was, in short, made them rather mean and miserly, and this mean spiritualistness and narrowness was consumed by the Lord. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says, Give alms to the poor. It is a witness to fraternal charity. It is also the work of justice pleasing to God. Religious practice, then, must always be accompanied by care and love for those who are in need. The problem with the Pharisees was that they were deceived. They persuaded themselves that their external practices brought them closer to God, but they failed to keep watch over the hearts which were inclined to all manners of evil, not in debauchery or drunkenness or dissipation, but rather by feeling superior to others, greed, avarice, and the indifference to the plight of their fellow men. When we serve the poor and the sick, we serve Jesus. We must not fail to help our neighbors because in them we serve Jesus. St. Rose of Lima. <clears throat> now let us ask our ladies to join her prayers with ours as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now 
and at the hour of our death. Amen. The response is, stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Our sufferings bring acceptance. Acceptance brings hope. And our hope will not deceive us, for the Spirit has been poured into our hearts. It is through the same Spirit that we pray, stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Help us to realize that our troubles are slight and short-lived. They are as nothing compared with the joy we shall have when we reach our home with you. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Come to the lonely, the unloved, those without friends. Show them your love and help them to care for their brothers and sisters. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Take away our pride, temper our anger. May we follow you in your gentleness. May you make us humble of heart. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Give us the fullness of your spirit, the spirit of sonship. Make our love for each other generous and sincere. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Will it be for ever and ever? Amen. Amen. Please show that sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the So of my Savior, sanctify my friends, body of Christ, we have my Savior. Blood of my Savior, faith be. 